Right, let's get straight to the Boeing story. Dozens of airlines and countries have suspended or grounded the Boeing 737 MAX 8 jets, except America. Joining us now is Senator Marco Rubio, Republican from Florida. Mr. Senator, should we, America, be grounding these planes now? I don't know. Um, I think that's something that we need to ask closer, both the manufacturer and the FAA. Look, I fly on planes all the time. I'm sure you do as well. And frankly, I don't remember the last time I checked to see what plane I was on. But, um, but it's certainly something. Look, here's the worst thing. If something were to happen, then a lot of people are going to have to answer some questions. So I don't think it's a moment for a panic. I mean, we have thousands of flights every day, and there's planes flying all over the country and all over the world. But enough has happened here to at least ask the question uh, to look at this more carefully and at least explain to people why it's not a problem so people have a little bit more comfort about it. Yeah, fair point, Mr. Senator. I want to move on to the Huawei situation because <coughs> you're pushing very hard to keep Huawei a big Chinese tech company. You want to keep them right out of America. Make your case, please, sir. First of all, we can't think about Huawei the way we do about Verizon or AT&T or any of these other companies. The Chinese companies are very different than American companies. They are backed by the state, frankly, supported by the state, and they have to respond to the state. They have to respond to the state for two reasons. One, because they have Communist Party members embedded in the company overseeing it. And second, because Chinese law says, if we tell you to spy, you have to spy. In America, we can't even get Apple to crack open uh, an iPhone uh, for the FBI. In China, Huawei has to give the Chinese anything they ask for. So imagine a country in which Huawei now controls the routers and all the hardware. Forget about the cell phones. All the pipes and, and, and cables and, and wires and everything, uh, the cable, the, 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 the fiber that all of this information goes across, and they are the ones that built it and control it. And China decides, you know, we want access to that because we want to steal commercial secrets or spy on America. Uh, we got a big, big problem when they're embedded in your infrastructure. They should not be in business in America. This is a major fight, obviously. Does it impinge upon the trade negotiations? It shouldn't because it's a national security issue. It's a national security issue beyond anything else. If this was a Japanese company, a South Korean company, that'd be a trade issue. This is a national security issue. There is no trade deal, no matter how good it is, that can make up for their ability to directly steal and spy on America, and, uh, which is what Huawei's presence in this country, and frankly, not just this country, but in networks around the world, create a problem. You know, a lot of this internet traffic doesn't just stay domestically. It bounces all over the planet, and the minute it touches technology that Huawei's embedded, we're in danger. So, so to be clear, Mr. Senator, <coughs> if, if a good trade deal with China were dependent upon America backing away from getting Huawei out of America, you would not take that good trade deal? No, I wouldn't. And I saw Ambassador Lighthizer yesterday. Look, my, I have a personal view on this. I don't think China's ready for a deal. I think a good deal with China is probably another year away. Because I think we can get a deal that in the short term improves the balance of trade, but in the long term still devastates us. China's identified 10 industries that they intend to dominate, and they intend to dominate it by cheating and stealing their way to dominance in these 10 fields. These 10 fields will define the 21st century economy. And we've been asleep. It, this is the first administration that actually does something about it. And they've put themselves in a pretty good leverage position. They've got to see this through. That This issue will define the 21st century, the, the balance between the U.S. and China. Senator Rubio, thank you very much for taking your time today with us. I know you're very busy. We do appreciate your time, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for focusing on this. Yes, sir.